Christofascism is a combination of Christian and fascism coined by Dorothy Saul in 1970. Saul, a liberation theology proponent, used the term to describe the Christian church which she characterized as totalitarian and imperialistic. Interpretation of Saul Tom Pfau Driver, the Paul Tillich Professor Emeritus at Union Theological Seminary, expressed concern that the worship of God in Christ not divide Christian from Jew, man from woman, clergy from laity, white from black, or rich from poor." To him, Christianity is in constant danger of Christofascism, stating that, "...w e fear Christofascism, which we see as the political direction of all attempts to place Christ at the center of social life and history," and that, M. U. C. H. of the Church's teaching about Christ has turned into something that is dictatorial in its heart and is preparing society for an American fascism. Christofascism disposed or allowed Christians to impose themselves not only upon other religions but other cultures and political parties which do not march under the banner of the final, normative, victorious Christ. As Knitter describes Saul's view, George Hunsinger, director of the Center for Barth Studies at Princeton Theological Seminary, regards the conception of Christofascism as being an attack, at a very sophisticated level of theological discourse, on the biblical depiction of Jesus. He equates what is viewed as Christofascism with, Jesus Christ as depicted in Scripture, and contrasts it with the, non-normative Christology that is offered as an alternative by some theologians, which he characterizes as extreme relativism that reduces Jesus Christ to an object of mere personal preference and cultural location, and that he finds difficult to see as not contributing to the same problems encountered by the Christian Church in Germany that were noted by theologian Karl Barth. Christomanism Douglas John Hall, professor of Christian theology at McGill University, relates Saul's concept of Christofascism to Christomanism, that inevitably ends in religious triumphalism and exclusivity, noting Saul's observation of American fundamentalist Christianity that Christomanism easily leads to Christofascism, and that violence is never far away from militant Christomanism. Christomanism accepts only one divine person, Jesus Christ, rather than the Trinity. He states that the over divinized, high, Christology of Christendom is demonstrated to be wrong by its almost unrelieved anti-Judaism. He suggests that the best way to guard against this is for Christians not to neglect the humanity of Jesus Christ in favor of his divinity, and to remind themselves that Jesus was also a Jewish human being. American history and politics American historians and political commentators have also used the term to refer to politico-religious tendencies in American society. Chris Hedges and David Nywert contend that the beginning of American Christofascism was during the Great Depression, when Americans espoused forms of fascism that were explicitly Christian in nature. Hedges writes that Fundamentalist preachers such as Gerald B. Winrod and Gerald L. K. Smith fused national and Christian symbols to advocate the country's first crude form of Christofascism. Smith's Christian Nationalist Crusade said that, Christian character is the basis of all real Americanism. Hedges also considers another prominent advocate of Christofascism was William Dudley Pelly. By the late 1950s, followers of these philosophies became the John Birch Society, whose policy positions and rhetoric have greatly impacted modern dominionists. Likewise, the Posse Comitatus movement began with former associates of Pelly and Smith. The 1980s saw the Council for National Policy and the Moral Majority carry on the tradition, while the Patriot Movement and Militia Movement represented efforts to mainstream the philosophy in the 1990s. Episcopal priest Carter Hayward, professor of theology at Episcopal Divinity School, uses the term to describe political and social policies that exclude nontraditional families in the name of Christianity, a practice she described as arrogant and blasphemous. 
Incidents of anti-abortion violence, including the Atlanta and Birmingham bombings committed by Eric Robert Rudolph and the assassination of George Tiller at his Wichita, Kansas church in 2009, have also been called Christofascism. The term caused controversy in 2007 when Melissa McEwen, a campaign blogger for then presidential candidate John Edwards, referred to religious conservatives as Christofascists on her personal blog. Topic. See also Topic. References Topic. Further reading Carter Hayward 1999. Saving Jesus from Those Who Are Right, Rethinking What It Means to Be Christian. Fortress Press. p. 11. ISBN 0-8006-2966-3. Ann Lodes 2007. Christian Focus, Radical Christocentrism in Christian Theology — by Clive Marsh. International Journal of Systematic Theology, 9 3, 365-368. doi, 10.1111, j.1468-2400.2007.1 x. Mary Gray 2005. Diversity, Harmony and in the End, Justice, Remembering Dorothy Soul. Feminist Theology. Sage Publications. 13 343-357. doi.10.1177.09667350.2007.1. Daniel Webster, the 16th of November 2006. Preemptive War and False Security. Remarks to the Hudson Mohawk, NY Chapter of the Episcopal Peace Fellowship. National Council of Churches. Topic. External links The Dictionary Definition of Christofascism at Wiktionary.